Welcome to another episode of 30 Minutes with DailyStraits.com. This is your host, June Rumley. Our guest today is Dubai-based Christopher Clark, the newly appointed CEO of CocoSwap. Clark is a unique individual who comes from a sporting background, specifically from the English professional, uh, English, professional English football background. Having a successful career with well-known teams like Wolverhampton, Wanderers, and Blackpool. A little bit of a uh, background on what CocoSwap is. So CocoSwap is a unique platform which combines existing and upcoming features of NFT trades and blockchain gaming. It consists of an invite-only celebrity NFT platform, a state-of-the-art decentralized gaming marketplace, and a robust stock-taking platform. It is one-stop place for users to stake crypto, buy digital assets, and play uh, exciting decentralized games. Without further ado, Let's invite Chris to the show. Hi, Christopher. How are you today? I'm very well, June. Thank you for having me. Pleasure to be here. Awesome. Thank you so much. So let's dive right into the question. So how long have you left the sporting world? And you have a twin brother. His name is Matthew. So I was just wondering, what is he doing these days? Because you are based in Dubai. Where is he? Um, He's actually based in Cardiff, which is uh, in the UK next to England. Um, He's there. um, He's coaching over there. uh, So he's still involved in football. Um, um, and I've been over in Dubai for around two years now, two to three years. Awesome. Okay. So you got involved in the business uh, because you are an every crypto enthusiast yourself. So can you just tell us like how your journey into the crypto world began? Yeah. So um, I got into crypto probably about three years ago through a friend uh, who talked to me about um, Bitcoin, uh, just like a lot of people did really, um, wondering, wondering what this currency was. Um, and then Doug a little bit deeper and found that other things like Ethereum and other raw coins um, and I was just fascinated really about it and then obviously into NFTs um, I got into through the visual art side um, finding out a little bit about that and it started off really with the crypto kitties and crypto punks um, era um, and yeah just fascinated through the whole aspect of uh, what an ERC721 can be which is an NFT and just the capabilities the endless capabilities of what an NFT can do uh, and yeah just been heavily into uh, into the industry and got and now set up the company awesome so okay so you're the how did you get involved in Coco Swap basically how did that journey start yes yeah, so um, I'm the founder as well um, of Coco Swap I'm the CEO so um, I've had this idea to start this game for um, quite some time um, we've I've been heavily into gaming um, probably all my life, I've been an avid gamer. Started off in the arcades um, in the 80s and 90s, um, and then just playing, just playing games like Mortal Kombat and Tekken. Um, and Mario Kart and things like that and I mean I was even on FIFA um, which is a, a, a sporting game in I think that was 2021 I was actually on that computer game so I used to uh, play with myself as my own character when I was at Blackpool and I had friends who was their characters and we used to uh, play against each other um, so yeah um, I've, I've been an avid gamer um, and this is yeah one of the reasons why I've started up uh, this company Okay so since you are the founder so can you just tell us a bit about the whole company like where is it based like the headcounts who are the other founders yeah so we're based over in Dubai um, we've partnered with a company called Take Leap as well which is a um, virtual reality company um, so they're helping us build out the game um, we've got um, 70 staff over in India and various people around the world building out the Coco Burst game um, on our platform Um and yeah, we, we we have a strong team, so um, things are going very well. Okay, so how, um, I mean, recently you um, sent out a like a press release where the, the it was started with Labuan, Malaysia. So is, is um, CocoSwap a, a company that's uh, set up offshore in Labuan, in Malaysia? Yeah, so that's where we're regulated. Um, that's where we're set up, but we are based here in Dubai. So um, Dubai really now is just a, a hub of um, everything to do with crypto. So it's just... Um, 
being able to, we have a lot of people over here that we can meet um, in, we, we have DIFC, um, which is the free zone, um, but now crypto. So we, we can interact with a lot of people here. Okay. So who are the other founders besides you? Is it your brother or anyone from? Um, he's involved, but he's involved on the research side of things. Um, so we have um, partnered with Tate Leap and we have a, a few people there who are working also on the project. Awesome. So why is Coco Swap an invite only platform at the moment? Um, it's not actually an invite only platform. The NFT marketplace is a celebrity invite only platform. Um, we also have a staking platform and the NFTs for the Cocoverse game um, is a platform for anyone to participate um, and come on and have a look at the NFTs and building out the game for the Cocoverse as well. So yeah, I think I think that's where we just get in a little bit um, mistaken with the NFT celebrity platform. We had Rashid Belhassa, um, which we um, have done an NFT there with him with the social knockout event. Um, okay, so a lot of people are still clueless about NFTs and what it's all about. So now you have people mixing up uh, NFTs with games. So can you give a listener a lowdown, you know, on how, on what it is actually. So when you buy the NFT, as it, when you uh, Coco Swap NFT, the one that's associated with the game, how does it work? Like what is, um, you know, you need the NFT to play the game, right? Otherwise you can't play the game, right? Yes. Um, so currently we've got some mid-tier and top-tier NFTs um, that are on OpenSea. Um, but you don't necessarily need the NFT to join the game um so when you when you come on to the platform um we have 41 nfts currently out there what we are doing is digital wearables um so it's the armors the weapons the boots the helmets so you what we have out there currently is a full set of the nft that you can actually buy um so when you do join the game um yes you can you can join um, with just one wearable, one item. Okay, so you don't have to buy the thing. Why then, why do you sell it then for... Um... Yeah, why do we sell the NFTs? Yes. Um, yes, the NFTs you can actually use as your own persona and they are in-game um, avatars as well that you can use in the game. So we're an augmented and AR um, reality um, game. So you'll be able to come on um, as a user, as a gamer, you'll be able to um, build and create your avatar um, and you'll be able to create and design um, through all the digital wearables to play the game. Okay, great. So um, what do you read to keep yourself up to date with developments surrounding cryptos and NFT? Because it changes every day, like, you know, so are you, do you read a lot or because you're involved in the industry, you already know stuff that not many people know yeah so um yeah with the nfts we're just regularly obviously in the business um speaking to a lot of people who are also um in this in this field um obviously when it comes to regulatory concerns um we have a strong team who who are just keeping um an eye and just staying on track with everything like that but um yeah it's just a case of just obviously to see what everybody else is doing um how nfts are changing i mean these products like charged particles are doing very interesting things with around nfts um, and how nfts can, can change um i mean they're doing something interesting where it's nfts inside of nfts which is like loot boxes so i mean nft could be could have yields bearing assets put inside them um they could have many many different things um so i think we just um we're just getting to the start really in the beginning of what the endless possibilities what an nft can can be and it's changing all the time awesome but what do you read you know as a ceo of Cocosop to keep yourself up to date like do you go on Twitter a lot yeah I'm I'm always on Twitter always actively my phone is always pinging on Twitter um, we're setting up our Discord channel this week um, so yeah we, we've um, we've got that going we've got hun over 190 followers on, on Telegram and over 100 on Twitter so it's really important that we engage with our community but just yeah me personally um, I get a lot of information from Twitter really awesome. um, and, and all the other NFT uh, people in the space and other companies and see what's going on. Awesome, great. Some people think that all things cryptos and NFT are a sham and bogus and there have been a lot of articles on this so do you think um, this opinion holds any water because you are in that space so what do you think? Um, yeah, I think I think at the minute um, 
Um, I can see why a lot of people do um, believe this um, because there, there are a few companies out there who, who have done things like rug pulls um, and there are other um, things that are around, um, certain hacks and things. Um, so you, your contracts have to be right and you just have to try and do everything right at the minute. Um, I think this space will get regulated a lot more uh, moving forward and that's going to be a good thing for everybody um, because, yeah, I mean, this, this drone project will survive and the ones who are building and doing things the right way um, and then um, it will just clean up the space a lot more and just be just be better for people to enter into crypto awesome great so um, I checked your Twitter account it had over 90,000 followers you said it's 100 yeah. right yeah 190 on Telegram and over 100 on Twitter yeah so how did you get that many followers were they like all mm, I mean you know um <laughs> Yeah, we um, we actually we did a airdrop uh, for two thousand, and the, um, the users had to come on and um, do participate and do a few things. Um, but that's where we can see where our um, our market is really targeted to the to Southeast Asia um, and the gaming community over there. And South America is going to be very strong for us, um, Africa. But really, we, I mean, we're, we're looking globally for for our coin and for our project um, and the Coco first game um, but we can see um, yeah where we where we, we have a good following so it's really important for us to uh, just be just be active with our community so yeah we just opened up our discord now so we'll be able to uh, really um, broadcast a lot more to the community on what we're doing um, we've got like I said we've got the Coco swap, uh, swap game coming out later on this year Coco verse we're going to be at Comic Con as well which is um, their 10 year anniversary so we're sponsoring that event um, we've got a cinematic trailer that's coming out that's in March we've got a cinematic trailer there so we're all all the team are going to be there um, we're going to be um, broadcasting everything we can do so we um, engage with our community um, holds and raffles um, yeah we're sponsoring that event so that's going to be a good thing in early March so they're all like uh, real followers right you didn't buy them or anything no like no 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 we haven't bought any of our followers um, again it's it's an early it's an early project so at the minute we We've got the cinematic. We're working on the cinematic video for the game, um, and then we can start showing more about the game as well, which we are building now. Um, so we'll be able to show um, all our audience, all our gamers, everybody who's following a lot more of this information. So I checked the Twitter account as well. You've got a lot of tweets telling people to be careful and not to buy this and that. And where it says it's part of Coco Swap, but it's not. And you've identified a few scammers who are posing yeah. as your company. So why? Do you think uh, that's happening a lot? Is it because you're gaining traction in the in the space? No, I think that's um, just regular across the board in um, in crypto. Um, I mean, if you go onto OpenSea now, where we just recently launched our NFTs, um, there was a second account which was open, um, and we had to get in touch with OpenSea, get that shut down. Um, I mean, I think a lot of companies are experienced. Um, yeah, anything where, like you say, you get traction going, um, people are going to try. And replicate your model and and uh, try scam other um, you know, very um, honest people. So that's why we, we put those posts on there to try and just protect the users um, and just make them aware to stay away from certain contracts. But yeah, again, this happens to um, pretty much every crypto project out there. Okay, great. So so the Bitcoin has gone down. Has that got anything to do with NFTs or the or your company, or it's like two separate things? Um, yeah, it's two separate things um, with the market going down really I mean we can't obviously dictate what's going on and the price of um, crypto I think um, with this happening we will um, possibly see the NFT market pick up a little um, but just here at Coco so what we're just concentrating on building out product and the game um, it gives us a bit more time to build um, and we're sticking to our roadmap as it is um, but I think what's going to happen in the space um, is a lot of the stronger projects that are bringing out um, their, what, their products they're going to slowly start to decouple away from Bitcoin because they are going to be projects out there that will, will then be gaining mass um, adoption um, and and um, be there and have their main nets and being used. So their networks will be, be then being used, which will then take away from 
from the decoupling of Bitcoin at the minute, which is a slightly speculative uh, asset. Okay, finally, um, I actually checked your website last week and there's a generic email address at the bottom. I think it's info at cocoswap.com. So I actually did send an email with a question and till today, there has not been any reply. So the thing about uh, NFTs, are people find it very hard to um, get replies or answers once they've put their money in. So I just wanted to ask you, right, um, how does someone get in touch with your company? Like, you know, there's no address, there's no phone number there and the email, there is an email address there but the replies are not fast enough. So should they go on Twitter and reach you or is there another? Um, yeah, they can go on Twitter and they can go on um, Telegram. Again, we're just opening up our Discord channel. Um, I think that should be live by the end of the week. Um, so we will have a strong team in there, moderators, um, be able to discuss course, answer questions, explain to everything a lot more about the project and just to give um, people the rundown on a, on a day to day, whatever questions or concerns um, or any ideas that they want um, or directions they think we should go in. So we're going to be, I think this is probably the best way for people just to uh, to uh, to answer these questions because I think it, it will be, and it is in most cases, this tends to be a stronger, str- really strong community and a good way for people to, uh, yeah, to, to ask those questions. So where- where is this discord how do they get uh... how do they get into discord yeah, yeah we will it? yeah we'll show this all over um our social channels um and, and tell people how to get in into our discord again this is going live this week or it's going to be early next week um so we'll be able to to tell people uh, by telegram twitter um and how to get into our discord channel awesome all right so this company started three years ago well when you came to dubai is that right no no um yeah it didn't start three years ago i've been over here for that amount of time um meeting a lot of people in the space um and and then learning how we how we can build this and just getting a good team together yeah so it started last year or this year yeah this year yeah this, this year. year oh okay. yes so are you looking for investors um we we have um a strong people um behind the company um really we're not thinking about too much about the investors we're thinking about just bringing out a strong game a strong product um and then the investment Um, We have people who are working on that side as well, but that's not really what we're we're focusing on. It's all about um, making, having a good platform uh, that people can use and a good product, because I think that's going to be different really between um, the good good projects out there, um, if they have a good game, because if it's not a good game, people are not going to play the game. Awesome. All right. And that is all the time that we have for today. We have just been speaking to Christopher Clark, the CEO of CocoSwap. Thank you, Chris, for joining joining us today. Thank you very much, June. Thanks for having me. Awesome. The pleasure is all ours. Be sure to join us next time as we aim to interview another interesting individual. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.